boss. WXI 12's Colette Stein explains what she did to start helping herself and also helping others at the same time. It's Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month, and one triad mom is sharing her story in hopes of letting others know they're not alone. Meet Susie Fielders Aaron. She has been a single mom to her now 14-year-old daughter since the day she was born. But that all changed when she met her now husband. I know my daughter wants a sibling, and I want another kid, and I was always a single mom with her, and I want the experience of having somebody there with me, you know. Excitement filled the room when Erin found out she was pregnant at the beginning of this year. But less than two weeks later, that excitement turned into sorrow and fear. I had my miscarriage in February of this year. Um, I was, I got pregnant around December, so it was only about seven or eight weeks maybe, so it was still pretty early on. She says the following months were difficult, but through the support of her family and sharing her story, she has started the process of healing. I feel like it's important to share because that encourages other people to share, and I'm a big believer that speaking or writing or sharing it in some format is a sort of therapy. Erin is also a frequent blogger for Triad Moms on Maine, a website that provides resources and information about parenting. Well, I love writing, so I just, you know, having another platform and a lot of my writing's usually about other people, so I liked how with Triad Moms on Maine, I could write my own stories and share my own stories. She says when she published her miscarriage story online, she got an outpour of support that opened her eyes to how common it is. One in four pregnancies result in miscarriage, which is a pretty high percentage. So, I mean, again, that's also part of that awareness. I don't think people realize how common it is. Erin says she hopes her story will help others realize they are also not alone. I hope it inspires them to share their own stories and if they're struggling with it, to get help if they need it, whether that's sharing their story or talking to whoever they need to talk to. In Winston-Salem, Colette Stein, WXII, 12 News.